Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media. I'm here today with Dallas Alexander, who is a country artist originally from Alberta, now based in Ottawa. And we're here for our latest segment of Five Cues. Welcome, Dallas. Hi, thank you. <laughs> so first off, care to introduce yourself a bit more in depth for our listeners? Uh, sure, yeah. I mean, uh, like you said, born and raised in Alberta, but I live near Ottawa right now. Um, I'm a country-inspired singer-songwriter, so I like to write, but I also like to, to get out and play songs. For sure. So you've unveiled your single, Child of This Land. Tell us a bit about the writing process behind the release. Okay, uh, well, this one kind of, like songs do sometimes, just came out of nowhere. I was actually uh, in Nashville co-writing, and I finished a co-write and went back to my uh, like Airbnb that I was staying in and just kept on strumming. And then this song kind of all came out in one afternoon <laughs> just by myself. Yeah, so... It's, it's very much uh, inspired by the community I grew up in. I'm from a small indigenous community in Alberta, Métis Settlement. Um, and it's kind of about that. Okay. You worked with Gord Bamford and Johnny Ka Gasparic on the release. Um, care to tell us a bit about that experience? Uh, yeah, it was, it was amazing. I was uh, constantly learning constantly in learning mode because I just went there with you know my song that I had made on an acoustic guitar and kind of a vision for what I wanted and they just really helped shape it into that so between Gore and Johnny and then all the musicians they brought in uh it was unbelievable to see them work the professionals that, and the, the guys who do that studio session work it was incredible and inspiring <laughs> um and I'm glad that it turned out the way it did <laughs> So speaking of Gord Bamford, you're also set to tour with him on his Canadian Dirt Tour, which kicks off in September. Um, for someone who has yet to see you perform live, describe your performance in five words or less. Oh, five words or less, okay. <laughs> I try very hard, that counts as one, to connect. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being a musician living in Ottawa? Um, I think my favorite thing about being a musician, well, if, if it's specific to Ottawa, I would say there's just, there's a, there's a good music scene here, actually, which I was, I was sort of surprised about being from Alberta and there was a good country music scene here. There's a lot, uh, whether I played downtown in Ottawa or West out in Lanark County in the country, Everyone, uh, country music is very well received kind of all over the place. For sure. And how does it differ from Alberta? Like, what do you miss about the Alberta uh, well, music scene? When I was in Alberta, so I grew up there. I moved out here to Ottawa probably 15 years ago. I wasn't playing music. Oh, today, okay. I have yet to dip my toes in the Alberta country music scene. I've played a couple of shows in Calgary, uh, and we'll be going back at the tail end of this tour with Gord, which will be great. Very excited. I haven't even played at Edmonton yet, and that's where I was born. So. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to be exciting. Yeah. Um, what else do you have up your sleeve for 2023? 2023. Well, um, like you said, I'm going to be going on tour with Gord Bamford to open up, uh, playing with Trio, which is a lot of fun. And uh, I've got a festival that I'm playing down in Mexico called Way Down Here Festival in October. And I'm just going to keep releasing music. So I have a, an eight song album that's ready. And we're going to release kind of one song at a time. And we're getting vinyl made to be selling at the live shows. So I'm just going to keep putting out music and continue to write songs and, and learn this crazy industry. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Well, that's it for five cues. Thanks for joining me and congratulations on the single and the upcoming tour. Thanks so much for having me.